ears and now there's an earthquake so what's going on and the ears is cat ears it's not normal ears i'm a human what the hell is going on today though i can't focus on it too much because i realize my hands are holding on to megumi are you sure about that she stumbled from the initial shock and instinctually i reach out for her why why would i reach out for her like it's just normal there are so many girls you know <laughs> is everyone all right anyone hurt this is Miko. I look down at Megumi. Are you okay? Megumi blushes. <laughs> okay, I think it's pretty hard to tell apart between Megumi and also Miko. I know Miku is white hair, but when you are just looking at the screen without um, they they are wearing the same outfit. So it's <laughs> if you don't look closely, you it's pretty hard to tell. Yes, I'm sorry, but thank you for catching me. Okay, thank you. Okay. I smile at her and then look around at the rest of the group. Okay. As usual, the the <laughs> both of them are there. Thankfully, everyone seems to be fine, and there are only a few broken plates and glasses. But what's more surprising is how they aren't freak out or even look confused. Okay, so I think the earthquakes um frequently happen here. That's why they are not faced by it. In fact, it seems like they are angry. They are angry more than anything. Yep, what happened? Uh, I think it's the wolf, something like that. It's them, isn't it? They did this. Megumi worries her lips and give, gives a hesitant nod. That would be the only explanation. We should go out and check. Wait, what's going on? Do y'all know what happened? More like we know who would do something like this. Miku. But Megumi is right. We need to check the damage. I think you have to report to the police. The scene doesn't make much sense to me. Mostly because there is a freaking cannonball in the wall. <laughs> they were, oh, really? That's like a bowling ball. <laughs> okay, what the? Those damn wolves. But the, 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 the cannonball doesn't make sense because usually it would um, destroy um, part of the, the building because due to the sheer impact itself. Okay, Finn puts her hand on Lily's shoulder. Lily, don't get too heated. You are saying the wolves have a cannon? <laughs> I look <laughs> Okay, okay. Pretty interesting. I look around, trying to see where they could be. No, not exactly. They use magic and target us. Oh, I see. Now there's magic at play. That's... Wow. I shake my head, trying to understand how this is even happening right now. So wolf has magic? Why don't cats have like some special powers? I need an answer. I knew cats and wolf didn't get along, but this is way more intense than I expected. <laughs> they are the one who started all of this. Lily. And we need to retaliate. What? Yes, Miko, do you do you mind? Okay, we have a cannon ourselves? Miku nods and waves her hand, revealing a cannon of their own. Okay. <laughs> this this story is going wild. Okay. Holy Should we really retaliate? It could just be, it could just cause more damage. We have to strike back. We can't let them think we are giving up. <laughs> it's true. If we back down now, they will think that they can just walk all over us. So this is really a war? Essentially, yes. Everyone starts, stand clear. I'm firing the first shot. Okay, sure. You're shooting <laughs> the girls back up. And I quickly follow suit, not taking any chances. Fire! Okay, the cannon just shoots. She waves her hand over the cannon and it fires a bright, fiery ball into the sky. Okay, it arch over the woods and lands with a loud boom. You don't even know if it hits the, the wolves. A few seconds later, there is angry howling and another magical cannonball is headed our way. So this is war. Oh crap. <laughs> but while I'm freaking out, Lily holds up her hand and suddenly the cannonball explodes in the sky. Well, that's one way to take care of it. We should fire one back at them. Or maybe we should just stop and call it even for now. Do we still have... I For a second there I thought, do we still have cannonballs? But actually, it's we do still have customers. We need to send them a message. Yeah, this isn't the first thing they have done to us this morning. Do you want to take the shot, Megumi? 
Maggie being hesitant, but they not, but then not. They think this cannonball is like a game. <laughs> like, like you take a shot and he take a shot and all this. Oh my god. She steps up the cannon and waves her hand over it, initiating another cannonball. This is completely crazy. Everyone is quiet, waiting for the shot to land. It does with another loud boom, following by another angry howling and yelling. Okay, interesting. From cat girlfriend to cannonball fight <laughs> with the wolves, this story is pretty wild and bizarre. I have I have expected there to be an, another attack, but after a few minutes, nothing happens. I see. Maybe it killed the wolf. <laughs> That's not possible. That showed them we aren't messing around. Okay, maybe they just shoot a magic arrow or something that just destroy this place completely, I believe. Because <laughs> there's no way wolves just back down like that. Like, <laughs> it's the man's pride. Man doesn't back down in any situation like this. Yes, now let's start cleaning up and tending to our remaining customer. So I think they will do something really crazy, the wolves. I have so many questions. Wait, they just really back down like this? Is that it? The wolf? Oh my god, talking about lousy wolf. We walk inside where Finn and Lily set to cleaning up broken items while Miku and Megumi sees the customer, sees to customers. Okay, I just realized that how are you going to do business and earn money if you keep, if someone keeps sabotaging you? I watch them in awe, so calm and put it together. <laughs> it's, it feels like they keep battling each other every single day. Um, the, the fact that this happens so often that they uh, acclimated to it is definitely something. Wait, if the broken plates, I mean if you can summon a magical cannon, why can't you just summon, I mean rebuild, refix or maybe make a new plate, use your magic. Understand? It's pretty simple, you don't have to... Wait, in the passage, they didn't mention anything about um, buying new plates, so I'll let that one slide. After taking care of everyone and everything, the girl collapsed into a booth sighing. I take a seat across them. So, can I explain what <laughs> all of that was? Okay, Miku. It's been ongoing ever since the wolf opened their cafe down the way. Okay, the wolf also opens a cafe. I might want to visit them, you know, just to try out the food. Toto hops on the table between us and stretch. And it's only gotten worse since you know who up and disappeared. I don't, I don't get it. Who up and disappeared? Who, who disappeared? At the mention of that, the girl all looked down, saw them look on all of their face. Yeah, even even <laughs> ask about who Toto is talking about. Oh, I see. Maybe the the wolf killed some of the someone from this cat's clan or something like that. They all look sad. Is he referring to your manager? Ah, Soka. I see. It, because in part one, I I deduct them a point because they they was referring to the manager and I was like, where's the manager? I don't see one. And in fact, I just become the manager. So I was thinking that they just make this story inconsistent, but actually it didn't. The manager have died <laughs> and I look like the manager. Yeah, when he left, it's like everything got worse. Okay, uh, I mean the manager didn't die. <laughs> he just left, all right. It's been very hard without him here. We have been trying our best to not get discouraged, but we can only handle so much. Let me ask you a question. Is the is our Previous manager, a human or a cat? That seems they seems even sadder at that, which makes my chest ache. Why? I don't feel any thing. I don't have any connection to the manager as well. Well, it seems like you are all working so well together. Surely it's not really that bad. Lady sigh. Stop posing that hand sign. I mean the peace sign. It's really funny. Nope, it's worse than bad. We can't keep going like this. Oh, I didn't realize they were so overwhelmed. It seems like they have it together, but I guess they have been just working hard to make it seem like it. Well, how can I help? They all look up surprised by this. You really want to help us? Oi, my stupid mouth. I don't want to help you guys. <laughs> I have no business in going war with the wolves. Surely I can help. Okay. 
Whoa, Kakashi, that's so kind. You are really helping us? I mean, you would really help us, Kakashi? Sure, why not? At least grant me some magical power first, alright? Sure. I mean, I'm still not totally sure what's going on, but... You know, battling a wolf and kicking some ass would be great. But I do know I don't like seeing all of you being so upset. I can tell this place is really important to all of you. Miku smiles and not. It really is. The truth is that ever since we lost our previous manager, things have been hard to manage. So, stop saying lost our previous manager since I was referring to the death of your manager, but actually he just left I think. We spent so much time trying to take care of budgeting, scheduling and order management. On top of that, actually working. It's difficult to keep. We are all exhausted. Whoa, I have no idea. You all work so hard and it looks like everything is put together. We really do try, but having a manager would make things so much easier, especially whenever those damn wolves attack. They have caught us off guard so many times. So that is really all you need? They not. And I feel like I have no choice but to be their manager. But didn't I ar already agree to be their manager? I forgot about it. The girls need help. And this place is really cute. Plus, it's not like I'm going to have anything else going on. Nah, that's crap. Do something, get a hobby or something. Having a job and some extra fun certainly wouldn't hurt. I reach up to run my hands through my hair while thinking things through and remember one very crucial details. These ears! Yup, I'm sued for this job since I have the cat ears now. Please grant me some magical power. Alright, if you can promise to help me with this situation, I don't see why I can't help you out. Do you really mean it? Actually, I will give this uh, series a 9 out of 10 immediately if <laughs> there is no cure for me, you know, at the end of the series, uh, the passage say, um, we can't cure you and you have to be a cat forever. That would be crazy, okay. Do you really mean it? Of course. Yay, we are getting things back to normal and can show those wolves we aren't giving up anytime soon. Not only that, but we can get things back to smooth running orders. Looks like everything is working out in the end with your Look alike. What are you talking about, crazy cat? Look alike? What is he talking about? Oh, I see. They keep referring to stuff that I don't know. And I know look alike is the previous manager. Well, to be honest, you look very similar to our previous manager. I even thought you were him when we, we met this morning. Yep, this is was what I was referring at the beginning. Um, that's weird. So, what even happened to him? They share a look before shrugging. We have no idea. Fine, come over, setting coffee down for everyone. One day he just didn't show up for work. We wait and try to call him, but it was all for no- It's as he vanished or never existed at all. That's eerie. Well, I will certainly do my best not to- <laughs> Not to disappear, you know. Miku claps her hand and please. This is going to be wonderful. We will start your training tomorrow then. Looks like I'm the new manager of Antique. Kitty, oh I see. Interesting, do I? Is my salary higher than you guys since I'm the manager now with no prior experience? Ah, that's a million dollar question. Who would have thought things would turn out like this? The next morning I show up at the cafe to find Lily smiling brightly. Whoa, are you a morning person? She chuckles. Nah, but I'm excited. You are starting off in the kitchen with me. I thought Finn did all the cooking. She does, but I get everything prepared. Oh. Lily nods and motion for me to follow her. So first, we have to get the coffee brewing and prep all the ingredients. Alright, what should I do first? First, just watch me. Lily summons a small flame in her palms. I wish I could have firepower. Please teach me instead of cooking. Whoa, it's amazing that your kind has magic. Lily grins and looks quite proud of herself. Please give me some magic powers. I know, right? We are pretty awesome. Shut up. She lights a fire under the different coffee pot, getting the brewing process started. Whoa, that's great, Lily. This is nothing. I mean, you did see how I brew up the cannonball, right? Oh, okay, that's amazing. Please teach me like I said. I chuckle, amused by Lily's very unsubtle bragging. She is quite cute looking, all proud of herself. Yeah, I think she's not bad. 
after brewing the coffee, I, I mean, yeah, the tea and water is boiled, Lily show me how to prep the food. It's super easy, see? Just julienne the radish, slice the carrot and dice the tomato and onions. Okay, yeah, easy. Okay, start on the radish. I grab a radish, figuring a large, larger vegetable might be easier to start with. I start chopping it when Lily suddenly gaps. What? You're doing it wrong. How? Well, you are just chopping the radish. It need to be julienne. I'm going to admit that I have no idea what that means. Okay, Julian means like if you watch some cooking show, you know, okay? Uh, Alright. Lily sighed and shake her head. Maybe vegetable prep isn't the best task for you. Hey, shut up. This is my first day. I don't know anything about cooking, alright? I mean, I can still chop carrots, though. No, no, we shouldn't uh, move on. <laughs> uh, Lily is not impressed with my work. Whoa, my first task, and I've already been <laughs> totally screwed up. I look up and see Lily smiling. At least she doesn't seem angry. Yup, Lily shows me a few more things that have to be done in the kitchen and somehow I still manage to screw things up. Even Finn walks out of the moment she sees how badly I'm doing. Alright, whoa, very cool artwork. Well, I'm sure you'll get this the hang of things. Let me just show you the full picture. Okay, very very nice. Okay, let's continue. It's your only your first day, don't worry, true, so please be patient with me. Unless of course you completely screw up enough stuff that we have to banish you. Oh my god, this woman is just harsh. My eyes widen and I stare at Lily in shock. Wait, you think that would happen? She laughs and playfully hits my arm. I was just joking, you are so gullible. I feel <laughs> I sigh, feeling relief. So do you have any questions? We have still got 30 minutes before the morning rush. Hmm, I don't have any work questions, but I'm curious about Lily and why she works here. Will she tell me if I ask? If Prima option, I won't use it? Definitely. Or would that be too personal? Nah, tell her you're good. I'm curious about Lily and her reasoning, but maybe I should just wait for her to tell me on her own. I smile and shake my head. Nope, I'm good. But thank you for helping me this morning. Of course, we have been ha handling everything in no time. I'm sure of it. I chuckle. I'm glad you have faith in me. A few moments later, Miku walks in and greets us both, all set to learn about our customer service. I think so. She smiles and leads me to the main part of the coffee cafe. <laughs> Miku shows me how to prep each of the booth. She has a very specific way of arranging each vase and tells me the different flower she chose. So you really like flowers, huh? Oh yes, it's my special ability. Oh he had, his ability is um making flowers or something. Like Lily's fire? Exactly. I'm also fascinated by flowers flower language. It's so beautiful. Okay. Teach me how to talk flowers. I don't understand. <laughs> well I think it's nice how you incorporate in it into those cafe like this. Miko blushes. Thank you. After we set the tables, she reveal how she greets customer and how to handle everyone who gets difficult. Some of her story leave my jaw hanging. You must have the patience of a saint to deal with that. Miku smiles shyly and shakes her head. I've just gotten used to it. The front door bells chime, signif signifying a customer. And right behind them is Megumi. I handle the customer. Megumi is going to help with the official stuff. Man, it's only the middle of the morning and I'm already feeling worn out. Megumi comes over a handful of paper in her arms and a serious look on her face. We have a lot to cover and not too much time before things get too crazy. Oh, okay, coming. There's so much paperwork to go through. But I find it way easier than food prep and customer service. In fact, I get through the stack quicker than Megumi anticipated. Well, this is great. Let me show you a trick that I use to make things better for customer. She goes to fetch a dessert and come back. Oh, yum, a parf. I forgot how to read this. Power fire, is it? Ah, uh, let's just ignore that, okay? These are super popular in the summer, but they can start to melt easily from the heat. So I just do this. She holds her hand around the glass, and suddenly the glass is frosted. So her powers is ice power, I believe. Oh wow, you have ice power! And what a great way to keep it chill! She smiles and nods. We try to do everything we can to appease our customer and show them how great our food is. Well, you are doing an amazing job. Working with all of you has definitely proven that. We both hear the door chimes up 
front and Lily hurries in sudden. You two needs to come to this. I think it's a wolf. This customer is a wolf. Megumi frowns and hurry after Lily. Guess I'm following. Lily and Megumi are staying near the kitchen, watching the customer carefully. Admittedly, the man does seem very gaff and scary. Scuffy? Oh uh, yeah. Miko approach him using her great customer service and get him seated. The man is shot with Miko and tells her that he's not ready yet. She nods and come over. I need to finish with other customers. Someone is going to need to take this order. Megumi pales, looking afraid while Lily seems annoyed. Do we have to? He's a customer and we have a responsibility. As long as he isn't causing any problems, he deserves the same treatment as everyone else. Lily sighs. You're right, I can do this. She goes over to his table and I heard Megumi hold her breath. The man is just as gruff and short with Lily. Oh man, is she really going to be able to keep her temper? She's really, I mean, she really doesn't like wolves. And yet Lily seems to be managing just fine. She just takes his order with a smile, bringing it all out without dropping anything and continue to serve him with a good attitude. Everything is going perfectly. Miku taps, takes over when he comes up to pay. Thank you so much for visiting, we hope you come again. She gives a small bow and the man stands there. I have to say, that was the best coffee and food I've had in quite some time. Oh! He holds out his hand and in it, it's a bright glowing orb. The girls all gaps while I left standing here completely confused. Suddenly, the light envelopes the cafe and while when it clears, everything is in perfect condition. The damage from the previous day cannonball attack is completely fixed. All the dishes are clean and it all spotless. Lily and Miku are beside themselves, talking in hush whispers while Megumi is still staring in awe. What the heck? Megumi turns to him, her eyes wide and shining. Isn't the god of cafe amazing? This almost feels like a trick. Should I ask her and let her know how totally ignorant I am? Or should I just shrug it off? Shrug it off? Definitely. <laughs> I won't want to ask for 22 gems. But wait, what do you mean by God of Cafe? I still don't understand. Like, oh my god, there is so much explanation they have to be giving me. I shrug, even though I have no idea who is this God is. He did clean the place up though. I guess. You guess? How can you be not? How can you not be amazed? Our cafe was just be blessed. Oh, that's uh, really great. It is. We are so lucky. The girls celebrate, and I feel a little out of place and confused. At least they're happy, though. Yep. Since this is not my cafe, <laughs> is I don't have any um concern about it. This is all thanks to your great service and smile, Lily. Sure. Whoa. Lily blushes, but she grinning widely grinning okay everyone else is happy and celebrating but then again the door chimes ag once again okay we turn and see a young boy but he's crying and asking for his mom really a lost kid just wandering here what are we supposed to do 